Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sportsman Eye News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick Phillies versus Toronto Blue Jays that they're in TD Ballpark in Dunedin still, since they're not able to play in Toronto. Series preview. Please like, comment, and subscribe here at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty. We all really appreciate your support. But let's get right into it. And also, if you want to have a recap of the Washington National Series, please check out that video. That will be linked at the end screen. But let's get into it tonight. The pitching matchup on paper looks even, but Steven Max, um this year's 5-2 and two with a 4-8-6, but his 4-8-6 is just because of two bad starts in more starts than Vinny Velo, where Vinny Velo's only really had three solid starts this year. So I would say if it leans towards anybody, it leans towards them, but I would say it's not by much. Um, the lineups, though, going into this game would be Andrew McCutcheon leading off, who has been getting hotter of late, Gene Segura second, who's playing second as well. Harper and right field batting third. JT Realmuto at DH this evening, uh, probably because of um, that injury the other day, getting banged up the other day. Not injury, getting banged up the other day, I should phrase it as, since he's in the lineup, but at DH. Uh, Reese Hoskins at first base batting fifth. Alec Bohm batting sixth at third base. Odubel in center, seventh at center, like I said. And then Knapp, eighth at catcher. And then, of course, uh, Nick Maton today will be playing shortstop um, for the Phillies, batting ninth, who's obviously been doing well every chance he gets. Hopefully he'll continue to do that tonight. Where for Toronto, they got Marcus Simeon playing second base as their leadoff hitter. Bo Bichette, the young stars, playing short, batting second. Flatty Guerrero, the most dangerous hitter, along with Teoscar Hernandez. Guerrero is going to be at the DH tonight. Hernandez is going to be at right field. He's batting fourth. Guerrero third. Randall Gritchis in center field, batting fifth. Kevin Biggio is batting sixth. Woody's Goriel is batting seventh. Biggio is at third base. Goriel in left field. Raddy Telez is batting eighth at first base. And then the catcher, Danny Jansen, is batting ninth. I would say this evening you just need to see what Vince Velasquez has been able to do in his more recent starts. And then the Phillies will be in good shape. If you're able to see what he's been able to do in his most recent starts, they're set. Because obviously he went six innings on May 3rd. Um, only giving up one earned run, and then he went five and a third on May 8th, only giving up one earned run, one against Milwaukee, one against Atlanta. So if he can do anything like that, then the Phillies would be set. Even if he can do um, anything like he does just going five innings in the past where he gives up a couple runs like Chase Anderson does, with how the bullpen's been, the Phillies should be fine in this game. Toronto is pretty even with the Phillies right now. They're 20 and 16. The Phillies are 20 and 18, but I would say these teams right now are fairly even, so the Phillies just got to come in. They got to score more consistently, though, because Toronto can outscore you. But if Vince can pitch how he especially has in the last two games against Milwaukee and the Braves and pitch like that in the Dunedin in Florida tonight against the uh, Blue Jays, then I must have Maple Leafs. Then I think the Phillies can win this game, but this is definitely a wild card game. As for the second game, it says to be determined for the Blue Jays starter against Aaron Noah. No matter what, in my opinion, the Blue Jays don't have a starter that equals Aaron Nola when he's at his best. Um, so, I mean, Ryu does, obviously, when he's at his best. But Ryu also uh, had that one fantastic year that got him to the contract he's at, which congratulations to him. But I feel like Nola's had that more through consistency. Um, I would say he's going to win that matchup. Through and through, I think that's the game the Phillies got to take. Noah's coming off of an off start. I think he's going to answer back, have a very good start. It's in Dunedin, in Florida, too. We know how he always does in the warm weather, so I think that's going to play very well for the Phillies to win the second game in the series with him on the mound. The problem with this series for the Phillies is they kind of have two wild quick games. You've got Vinny Velo, who's been pitching good of late. Chase Anderson, who pitched good in his last start. you got to win one of those two starts, Vinny Velo in game one. Chase Anderson in the getaway game at 107 on Sunday, and then you're able to take these series. So they got to be able to have one of those guys also so the bullpen's not overtaxed on game one and three, go at least that five or six innings. I think one of those guys will step up, whether it's Vinny tonight or Chase on Sunday. So I feel like the Phillies have a chance to win the series, but they have to also be consistent with runners in scoring position and not just score early on and then have to keep um, a lead that ends up becoming a one-run lead when you're up 6-1 to one or something like that, for example, and end up winning 6-5. to five. So you have to, against a team like the Blue Jays, with that lineup and the power and pop and kind of the, the spunk in that lineup from some of the players, too, you need to keep scoring because that team always has energy and always is going to keep bringing it to you. 
So that's going to be a key for the Phillies in the series. But if they're able to do that, Vince Velasquez or Chase Anderson is able to step up and pitch a good, consistent, like, five, five, two-thirds, six-inning game that they give up only, like, two or three runs, then I think the Phillies will be able to take this series because they should be able to win the game with Aaron Nola in game two because you're going to be pitching in the warm to need in Florida. We know how he always does in warm weather. That should be a win. So they definitely have no reason to get swept in the series, but I think they should have a good chance to win because Vinny's cautious to the wind. I don't like confident him too much, but has been better of late. So maybe he'll step up, or Chase Anderson is coming off of a good start. Maybe he'll step up. One of those two do. I think the Phillies are going to win this series for sure. If not, they definitely should take one of three because Aaron Nola's pitching. I hope you all enjoyed the series preview of the Philadelphia Phillies against the Toronto Blue Jays that is in the need in Florida. Aaron Nola is the key game. you got to win that one. And then the wild card games of Vince Velasquez and Chase Anderson, one of those two got to step up to get the win. And the Phillies got to keep scoring against a team like the Blue Jays. Those are the keys to this series. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everyone. Enjoy some Phillies baseball and have a safe weekend. Peace out, everyone.